Hi, I'm Pat Patterson, and this is a short video showing how stream sets can uh, process data and send it to Wave Analytics. So this is the stream sets UI. I'm going to be processing uh, some sample data representing uh, taxi cab transactions in New York City. And let's have a look. We've, it's CSV data. Uh, it doesn't look that great in this um, in this view, but we've basically got a whole bunch of columns there and uh, a whole bunch of data fields. So I've got things like uh, the amount of the fare, uh, MTA tax, uh, the amount of the tip, the total amount. And interestingly, I've also got um, a credit card number and um, the payment type. So whether it was a credit card or cash. So this is the stream sets UI. Uh, I'm reading these files in from a directory. So stream sets works in a continuous mode. It's going to keep scanning the directory for new CSV files. And we'll see how that impacts things in a minute or two. What it's going to do, it's going to read in that CSV data. It's going to look at the records and uh, for credit card transactions, it's going to send those records along this top branch of the uh, pipeline. And the default for cash transactions is going to flow along the bottom. So let's see what's going to happen in this uh, Jython, so Python on the JVM evaluator. It's going to look at the credit card number and it's going to figure out whether uh, it's a Visa, MasterCard, Amex, etc. from um, the uh, credit card number, the digits that it starts with. And then what's going to happen is that this field masker is going to mask out all but the last four of the credit card number. So very uh, you know common processing going on there. If it's a cash transaction, then just to make the data regular, I'm going to set the credit card type to uh, not available there. And then finally, whether it's cash or credit card, I'm going to send uh, the data to Wave Analytics. So I have a developer edition org. There's my username. I'm reading the password from uh, a, a 600 permission file. Uh, I'm going to create ultimately a data set with the name taxi data. And um, if we scroll down, I'm going to uh, use this metadata to describe those fields that are going in. So I've got medallion, hack license, vendor ID, payment type, and so on. So that's all going to show up nicely in, uh, in Wave Analytics. And also, I'm going to run a data flow. And we're going to see the impact of that uh, as we go along here. So just make sure that I'm starting in uh, a known state. I'm going to reset the origin. So um, I'm going to process whatever CSV files are in that directory. Click Go. And what I should see is uh, records flowing through the pipeline. So here we see it's processed a couple of thousand records. Um, one of the features here is that uh, I can set validation. And so I've got a, a condition here to say um, if it's a card transaction, it's got to have a credit card number. So I'm getting a notification here that at least 10 uh, transactions here are missing their credit card numbers. And I can uh, drill into here and, and see uh, the errors that this is causing here. Uh, sent record to error, error payment type was card, but credit card was null. So these error transaction, these error records um, go off and they're, they're saved for later analysis, maybe some cleaning up and, and pushing through the flow again. But if we look over here at Wave Analytics, we can see that it has processed 5,000 records. And uh, if we go along and look at the tail of the log, I've created, um, I've authenticated to Wave. Uh, I've opened a data set, so created that Insights external data record. And then I've uploaded um, several batches of data. So each of these has a thousand, up to a thousand records. So we've done that. Uh, we've and then we've updated the uh, external data to say, hey, um, my batch is complete. I, compl I finished reading in that CSV data. And now if we go over to Wave Analytics and refresh, we should see that in fact I have uh, a data set. 
and this is my taxi data. So uh, that's pretty cool. I'm seeing I'm seeing five thousand records. Um, let's see what happens when more taxi data arrives. And just for the sake of uh, ease here, I'm going to just say uh, copy uh, my NYC taxi data from file one to file two. So we're just simulating more uh, taxi data arriving. I'm really just duplicating it here. So we've copied that. Let's go back to uh, stream sets. And what we should see is uh, more activity here. So it's going up 10,000 records. Um, so we <laughs> process those 5,000 records uh, almost immediately. Now, this is where things get interesting because uh, again, if we scroll down, I can see that I've created another insights external data, uh, uploaded all these batches, uh, written those batches to the data set. And what I'm doing is um, as soon as that status changes from in progress to completed, um, I'm going to uh, create a data flow. So what I'm doing here is uh, I've uploaded two data sets now and mm -hmm. I'm modifying the um, Salesforce default uh, data flow to combine those together. So automatically from my app, I'm writing that JSON to, to take that, to, to, to have that effect. So again, if we go over here to wave and refresh, uh, what I should see is in data sets, I've got three now. I've got these two, um, kind of component data sets, if you like, the two individual batches that were uploaded. But I've also got this third that has been produced by my data flow. And the easiest way to go see this is to uh, have a look in the uh, data set utils uh, app. And if I have a look in my data flow, and that's actually my phone buzzing to say that uh, with the notifications that um, Wave Analytics successfully uploaded my, my data. But anyway, we see here that um, I am, uh, there's the first data set there, taxi data ends in 899. Uh, there's the second one, so appended onto the end, this one ends in 990, this is just like a timestamp. But here I'm uh, appending um, the later data flow to the earlier one, and then um, I'm kind of creating this result set, which is just called taxi data without that suffix. So indeed, if we go across here and start to drill into here, we can see there's 10,000 rows. Let's send uh, another one through just for fun. But again, if I refresh there, so now we should have uh, into data sets. We've got our three um, component data sets and in taxi data, we should have about 15, yeah, 16,000 records. And this is this is nice now, I can do all the, um, the usual kind of actions here. I can group them by um, credit card type. Uh, I don't want that, that not applicable stuff, so I can filter. I can filter by uh, payment type is card. So that's all I want to see. So then that not applicable goes away. I can do things like uh, sort it by uh, descending to see the top ones on top. And then I can do things like say, okay, what's the average uh, fare amount by credit card and see, oh wow, people using JCB spend uh, significantly more, although my sample size is pretty small. So anyway, everybody everybody knows that Wave Analytics does this fun stuff, but uh, I thought I'd just show extracting some uh, meaning from the input data. Okay, so all of the code is in uh, GitHub, Streamsets Wave Analytics. So you're welcome to go have a look there. Not a lot of readme yet, but uh, all the source code is there, Wave Analytics target. So this shows how I'm um, opening the data set writing those batches of data just as CSV files, kind of uploading that to uh, each part, each batch. And then uh, I'm kind of playing with this uh, data, flow, data flow JSON. So what I end up doing is kind of doing a bit of 
uh, manipulation on the JSON here and then uh, writing it back to uh, back to uh, Wave Analytics. Reading data from a series of CSV files, uploading them to Wave Analytics and then combining them into a single uh, data set using a data flow for uh, further analysis. Thanks for watching.